What's good, good people? It's the Inspiration Man Vest. Let's talk the transition. I'm changing it over. I still got my IG going. It's still about the motivation. I'm, I'm, I'm always about the motivation or whatnot. You know, I'm trying to talk to some veterans. Active, non-active. People want to hear from you. What you go through, what you've been through, where you at type of thing. Everything on here is going to be informative to share with those people that want to know information about military life and veteran life active non-active you know things like if you got out of the military did you have any fears exiting in the military stuff like that for me it was no because i didn't have anybody but myself i didn't have anybody i didn't have a wife you know i had my fiance but I didn't, I didn't have a wife. I didn't have a kid. So at, at that time, my sole purpose of taking care of anybody was me. How can I elevate myself to be a better me? Like, did you have a plan and things go accordingly? Yes and no. You know, stop, I, I would be talking to veterans about things like that. Active duty service members would be something different. If you're dealing with PTSD, we can get on here. Let's talk about it. People want to know what you go through. Like, yes, I, I, I dealt with PTSD and still dealing with it. It's a, it is a constant battle. But one thing I am not is a danger to people around me. You hear me? I think that's the biggest misconception that a lot of people have. That when you throw around that title of PTSD, people will look at you as if... As if you're a dangerous individual. It's not the case. Let's talk about the misconceptions. Let's talk about how people look at you because you have that title over your head. Some things shouldn't be shared with most people. Not even most. A lot of people. Because they have nothing to do with your mental. A lot of people shouldn't even know that. They shouldn't. But you share it to share inspiration of where you are and where you're going. How you're dealing with your mental. You know, I, I, I do I do therapy every day, pretty much every day, every day. I train my mind every day. I go to a therapist every day. It's called the gym room. In that gym room, I leave a lot of things as far as stress and pain. A lot. It does a lot for me. And, you know, I want to talk to some recruiters. How can they best guide these young kids into a better future in the military? How can they guide through? What's the best job for them? What do they think is the best job to get into in the military? I want to talk to you veterans. You know? I want to talk to you leaders. What makes a good leader? You lead from the front or the back. You micromanage? Do you allow errors? How do you deal with those errors? I want to talk to you. I want to talk. They want to talk. They want to hear from you. Let's talk to these people. Veterans, soldiers, fall in. Hey, we got formation coming up, huh? Are you willing to be a part of my formation? People want to hear from you. Life after the military. Did you start a business? Are you working? You know, what are you doing? What are you doing to better yourself? Did you use your GI Bill? People want to hear, are you going for a, like a disability claim and the VA is not treating it as such? Let's talk. Let's talk. I've been through it, done it, used my GI Bill. Got a bachelor's and two associates, which is nothing to a lot of people, but it's a lot to me. Being a person that never walked across the stage, it's a lot to me. It's a lot behind this big old noggin of mine. But people want to hear from you, what you go through, what you've been through. Vets, let's talk. Fall in. We looking for you. Link in the description below. Email me if you would like to have that talk. It's the inspiration. Vets, let's talk.